This is a production of PBS Charlotte. Greg Heinem, of course, couldn't drive his car without keys. Lila. And he wouldn't drive without his wallet. Come on, let's go. But these typical routines stop being normal before Greg ever reaches the front door. Suit on. Because Lila is one more necessity in Greg's life. It takes the edge off of me having to watch my surroundings all the time. Let's go. Because I know that she is. The saying goes that a dog is man's best friend. For Greg, those are more than words. It's his reality. Just sitting here, you know, petting her, touching her, knowing that she's there, it's a game changer. It has absolutely changed my life. Greg is an Iraq War veteran and suffers from PTSD. He left the military 14 years ago, but the battle continued in his mind and emotions. We've tried counseling, we've tried EPDM therapy, we've tried medication, uh, tried self-medication. Medication has helped, but more than anything, the nightmares would have him shaking, leaving him in a cold sweat and depriving him of sleep. That lack of sleep only exacerbated his other symptoms, so he asked his doctor. What do we do about the nightmares? Oh, there's nothing we can do about that. Desperate and determined, Greg and his wife thought a pit bull service dog would help most. I have someone with me that wakes me up before the nightmare gets so bad that I wake up in a cold sweat or yelling or whatever. Uh, from my perspective, you know, what better breed to be paired with a veteran than the pit bull, which is often misunderstood, but then again, so is the veteran. So it was a really good fit. You're all mama dog. That fit was made possible through Sarah Andreco with Operation Sidekick a program under the American Pit Bull Foundation. It is the first organization to exclusively train rescued pit bulls as service dogs to help veterans. It's doing two things. It's reducing the, the euthanasia rate of highly adaptable animals, and then also providing help to veterans that are struggling, that are of uh, high potential for suicide. In fact, the United States Department of Veterans Affairs estimates an average of 20 veterans a day commit suicide. And because of reputation and perception, the life of a pit bull can be a struggle too. Pit bulls are the most abused, abandoned, neglected, overbred, stereotyped breed class of dog that there are out there. And here we have two beings, you know, we have pit bull type dogs and we have veterans that can come together and in a sense save each other, right? Sarah says pit bulls are smart with fantastic personalities. Pregnant mothers on the euthanasia list are pulled from shelters. Their temperaments are then tested. And once a mother is selected and has her litter, the puppies are trained for 18 months to determine which ones will make good service dogs. Service dogs specifically serve one person and specifically tasks that are geared towards helping that one individual. The training is extensive and expensive. Sarah says a traditional service dog can cost up to $30,000. The American Pit Bull Foundation has been able to reduce that cost to $10,000 by working with shelters, partnering with veterinary programs, and through donations. Training can be in a park or the sidewalk Scotty. of a busy street. Good, with me. Scotty Place. In either place, commands such as sit, stay, and lay are only the beginning. She has to be able to fully function under all types of different distractions. So the more that we can expose her to, the more likely it is that she'll still continue to succeed in any different type of environment. For example, watch how this pit bull, Scotty, does not react to the loud sound of a siren. Good girl. A busy, noisy street. This really could be anywhere in our area, and it may not seem like much, but these are the sights and the sound that can create unbearable stress for veterans suffering from PTSD. Heal. Greg only takes Lila out during events that may make him feel anxious, like during a parade, dinner at a busy restaurant, or working at his job at Home Depot. Lila remains calm, so he can too. Obviously, just meant by me looking down and operating with her, it basically keeps me in the present. And when I do hear a loud noise, if I have that fight or flight, I can just, you know, sit down on the ground and, you know, just, just relax. Since a lot of Lila's work is done at night, waking Greg from nightmares, she has to get breaks, which are normally during the day. Yes, good girl. So by the time Greg gets home, they're excited to see each other. Good girl. And when I come home, I see her tail wagging and her old booty shaking, you know, and she's just like, he's home, Lila. Anchor, anchor, 
Good. Sit. Yes. It's clear Lila helps him at least manage the horrors of war a little easier. And Greg is sharing how this often maligned breed has not only changed his life, he says she saved it. There's nothing I would not do for her, and there's nothing that she would not do for me. I told you, I know all her spots. For this veteran and his companion, a kind of mutual mission of saving one another. For Carolina Impact, I'm Todd Wallace reporting.